This is a 225 Q&A practice test. Plaintiff attorney, Mr. Wilson, capital W-I-L-S-O-N. Defense attorney, Mr. Jones, capital J-O-N-E-S. And we'll start with the plaintiff attorney. Ready? Okay, and he was driving a safe distance behind you? Yes, seemed like it, yes. It did not appear to you that he was driving recklessly, was it? No, he wasn't. Let's go back. I want to kind of take this in sequence as you're westbound on Main, and by the way, do you have an estimate of distance between the time you got on Main until the accident happened? I'd be guessing. You know, I don't want you to guess in depositions. We always tell witnesses and parties that guesses don't do anybody any good, right? But estimates, if they have some perception from life's experience, they can help the parties understand. For example, if I said how you know, how long are the earpieces of these glasses that I'm holding? You could probably, from your life's experience, tell me, you know, maybe they're five, six inches. They're longer than that. Okay, there you go. And if I said, hey, how high is the base on my desk in my office? That's just a guess. Do you follow what I'm saying? Right. Do you follow? Yeah. So what I'd like you to do is if you could, just using your life's experience, tell me if you can. Again, if you can't, let me know the distance, how many miles it was between the time you got on at Western on Main until the time of the, of the accident, approximately at approaching Morris Canyon. You want to know how many miles? Yeah, and you can give me a range, ma'am, if you feel comfortable doing that. I would say five miles. Okay, four or five miles, that's fair. And then as you're headed west, the motorcyclist started to pass you, correct? And when did you first see the motorcyclist that was actually involved in this accident? I saw him after about 30, 40, 50 of those. Those guys had already been passing me. Okay, he seemed like the last of the bunch. And I was kind of breathing a sigh of relief. They're gone. Okay, but he was still behind you. He was still behind me, and I believe there was another person behind me too. Okay, now as you were westbound on Main, did you maintain pretty much around 35 to 40 miles an hour? Yes, I did, and from your perceptions after seeing that other van, and when I refer to the other van, I'm referring to the lady that was involved in the accident, fair enough, yes, okay. When you were headed westbound, did the other van seem to be going about 35 to 40 as well to you? Yes, and you were watching as these motorcycle, this first group of motorcycles were passing. They were passing not only you, they were passing her, right, right. When I say her, I'm representing to you that it was a female that was driving that van. Now, as you went for a few miles, you mentioned some of these motorcycles continued to pass you, yes, all right, and there got to be the time when the guy who was involved in the accident was still behind you, but the other motorcyclist had gone in front of you. Miss State's testimony, which other motorcycle? Okay, you told me that the motorcyclist that was ultimately involved in the accident, it seemed as though the other ones had gone by you and you felt a sigh of relief, is that right? Yes, okay, and then you were, there was still the motorcyclist who was involved in the accident. I thought you said maybe one other there was. Okay, and so let's take that moment in time. How far were you going down Main when the other motorcyclist had pretty much gotten in front of you, leaving this other motorcycle and the other one behind you? I don't know, I didn't pay attention. Okay, the one that got in the accident got in an accident. I have no idea what the other guy did. Okay, let's, is that I'm, let me ask it again. I'm trying to just so you know what I'm trying to do is take us down. As we're going westbound on Main, I know as you're going westbound on Main that there came to be a point where you have this sigh of relief that the other motorcyclists were now in front of you, but there's still the guy who was involved in the accident was still behind you, right? And the other guy, there was two of them, and the other guy, possibly three. Okay, all right. What I want to do is now take that moment in time when there was the guy involved in the accident was still behind you, yes. Possibly one or two others still behind you, right? And the other ones were now in front of you. If I could take a snapshot of time and look at a bird's eye view, where would you be on Main at that time, right before the accident? When you say right before the accident, you think you were within 500 feet of the accident or less, okay. 500 feet or less, 500 feet or less, yes, okay. So at that point in time, there's one, possibly two others still behind you, yes. And this is when the other motorcyclists had gone in front of you, is what I'm saying. Is that right? Yes. You're talking about all the 30, 40, 50 of them, however many. Yes, yes. 
They were now in front of you, yes. And the guy ultimately involved in the accident was still behind you, yes. Safe distance, as you mentioned, yes. And maybe one or two others, yes. Now, with regard to at that moment, uh huh, when when he was, when you were approximately 500 feet or a little less behind where the accident ultimately happened, where was the motorcyclist that was ultimately involved in the accident riding? Was he in the lane, in the westbound lane? Yes. And the other two still there? One or two, were they still in the westbound lane? Yes. And do you have any estimate of speed as to how fast they would have been going at that time? Would they have been going about your speed? I would say so. Yes. Okay. And for the duration of a distance at that 500 or less feet that it took to get to the point of the accident, would you say that's about the speed that they maintained or did they go faster or did they slow down? They didn't slow down. Okay. Let me, let me focus in for the moment on the guy who was involved in the accident. All right. Right, the word list. We have Maine, capital M A I N, Western, capital W E S T E R N, Morris Canyon, capital M O R R I S, capital C on Canyon. And that is it for the word list, and that will conclude our 225 Q&A practice test.